If you're concerned about your blood sugar levels spiking and you want to eat something starchy for breakfast like a bagel or a piece of toast, a new study shows now that drinking green tea can reduce your blood sugar spike by 50%. I mean, what's the mechanism in green tea that does this? It's very interesting. It's got some antioxidants in it. One is called epigallocatechin. <laughs> oh, we're going to all that. remember that. We Here's the gallocatechin. It e <laughs> it's EGCG, <laughs> and most people can remember that. And what they found when they gave EGCG to mice is that if they gave it at the same time that they gave them carbohydrate that was complex, like you were mentioning in a bagel or something like it, that the spike that followed... In the blood sh in the blood glucose level was about fifty percent. So it's the presence of that that seems to do it. And part of the reason is because it looks like this particular EGCG blocks the uh, effect of amylase, which is what digests starches into simple sugars. So it it actually suppresses it by about thirty four percent. And that could be part of the reason why that works. You know, we all know that. It's not good for diabetics to eat a lot of sugar, but why is it not good for normal people to have a spike in their blood sugar? I mean, doesn't it give you kind of a pick-me-up and a little energy? <laughs> well, maybe. I think that in general, what you'd like to have is normal sugar metabolism so that you get a rise in blood sugar as you would like to have, as would be expected, but not one that goes too high because that is predictive of the development of type 2 diabetes. So what we'd like to see is blood sugar levels that don't go too high. When they get above about a level of 170, with 100 being the upper limit of normal, you start seeing a change in metabolism of glucose in the body where glucose is converted to sorbitol. And sorbitol is a toxic sugar, the, a sugar alcohol it, that causes poisoning of a lot of the enzymes and other proteins that are in the body. So whenever blood sugar, sugar levels get too high, that's one of the major ways that we age too fast and develop the signs and symptoms of type 2 diabetes and all of its complications. Well, didn't you mention something earlier about glycation? Glycation is what that is. Uh -huh. It's when blood sugar levels get to a certain level, they start attacking the protein uh, part of the molecules in our body that can destroy enzymes and other kinds of proteins that are important for important functions in our body. Now, doesn't that lead to premature aging, too? Absolutely. We, get a we age much faster. So you want to get a lot of wrinkles? <laughs> Make sure that you're taking in enough sugar so that you can get to those high levels. Well, the good news is that there are other things you can do to to avoid these spikes in blood mm -hmm. sugar besides things like like green tea. And oh, and while we're talking about green tea though, I did want to mention uh, matcha green tea because matcha green tea is the whole green tea leaves. Everything is all ground up. And um, so this way you, it has more of the antioxidants other. Sure. and the EG, well, the whole. CG. And <laughs> well, see, when you're having whole, whole foods, whole herbs, you're doing better than when you just select select out the, what they call the. Well, rather than ingredient. just brewing it, they all work together. Brewing the tea leaves in the water. Right. The 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 matcha, you get the whole thing. Yeah. Anyway. And so, so you're getting a lot more things than healthy. just the epigallocatechin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, so so let's talk about some of these herbs and spices like cinnamon. I know that cinnamon is one, and I love cinnamon. In fact, when I um, make my smoothies, I always add a lot of cinnamon to it because I know that that's supposed to help to reduce your uh, blood sugar spice. So I was thinking the perfect thing would be cinnamon toast with your green tea. The only thing <laughs> is, is that cinnamon toast isn't good without a little honey or something <laughs> sweet with it. <laughs> well, every time you add something sweet to it, you negate the effect of the <laughs> EGCG. So that's, that's the problem with that. But there are many other herbs and spices we can use. You know, things like oregano and garlic and cloves, uh, sage, and about 50 others that do a lot to reduce blood sugar levels. Well, with Thanksgiving coming up, that sounds like good things cloves, to season yeah. your turkey with or and your, your gravy ham, yeah, and all right. that. You know, and then there's things like turmeric uh -huh. and and uh, aloe vera and ginseng uh -huh. and uh -huh. stevia even. And stevia is a, a sweetener. Uh huh. It's a healthy sweetener. Exactly. So what we want to look for is a way to try and prevent getting type 2 diabetes. And really, this is almost 100% avoidable and reversible if you get it. And it's, it's a disease of lifestyle. So what we need to do is pay more attention to 
how much sleep we get because our cortisol levels uh, go up when we don't get enough sleep and that predisposes to type 2 diabetes. Uh, we need to eat the right foods, meaning avoid the simple sugars and particularly high fructose corn syrup. Uh, we need to have plenty of exercise because that sensitizes the insulin in our body so that it will work as effectively as it can to keep us from getting type 2 diabetes. We should weigh uh, an appropriate weight. These are just the simple things that we can do that make a huge difference in lowering our risk for type 2 diabetes or getting rid of it if we have it. And to not just think, well, you can take a diabetic drug and then you exactly. can pretty much do what you want because... Many of these diabetic drugs have side effects that are not good, like they can increase some of the risks of things that you, that, well, trying to prevent. that you're trying to prevent, yeah, like heart attacks and strokes. Yeah, little things like that. <laughs> <laughs> and, you, and it can even um, make you, well, they can make you hypoglycemic, but they can also, well, some of them, increase, increase the risk of bladder cancer. Yeah, Actos does that. And, uh, and, and almost every one, even the ones that are thought to be the best, the ones like glucophage, uh, are drugs that wind up causing a lot of GI uh, side effects in lots of people. And all of these drugs have the potential to cause severe hypoglycemia. They can put you into a coma and even be lethal. So looking at drugs is not the best thing to do. We tend to uh, find ways to look for drugs to help us to solve our problems. And what we should be doing is looking for ways to avoid having to use drugs and do it naturally. If we do that, chances are a little bit of green tea, a little bit of cinnamon, a little bit of exercise, get enough sleep. Chances are your blood sugar levels aren't going to be a problem in the first place.